I'm going to show you my travels to Veradero, Cuba and what you need to know once you get there. Keep watching the video. Welcome back. It's Jeff Lepard from JeffLepard.com and on this channel we do product reviews, vacation videos, do-it-yourself videos and so so much more. So if you're new here consider subscribing. So I just arrived at Toronto Pearson Airport and I'm about to depart and head towards Veradero, Cuba. So I'm just gonna show you the things you need to know and what to do and what not to do along the journey. So come along and I'll show you how it goes. I've just exited the Cuban airport. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film around the customs because it's illegal to take photographs or filming. But uh, once you get outside the airport, you'll see that there's a, a currency exchange place, and this is where you're going to be exchanging your currency. So when you come out of the terminal, you're going to see your representative and you're going to find out where your bus is. They have a clipboard and you're going to find out what bus you're actually going to. 
So I'm going to bus number three. So I'm just walking over there right now. No? Okay. <laughs> Video. You're going to be YouTube famous. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> okay, this sound is called Boca de Camarioca. Boca means mouth in English, and Camarioca is the name of the river. You will see right now. So, as I told you before, after the bridge, you can see the town in both sides. This town is a fisherman village. People who live here uh, fish for a living and others work at the hotels in Baradero because it's near of it, okay? 